Hi guys, you're watching Assignment Experts channel. Today we will answer the question asked by Kalyan from India. We are given three particles, each with mass 10 grams, and they are placed at the vertices of equilateral triangle, where the side is equal to 30 centimeters. Our task is to find the distance from any vertex to the center of mass of the system and to find the moment of inertia of this system uh, about an axis passing through the center of mass and perpendicular to the plane with these particles. Let's begin. So first let's find the distance from any vertex to the center of mass. From symmetry it comes that the center of mass is located at the center of the circumcircle of the triangle. So the distance we're looking for is nothing else but the radius of this circle. And luckily there is a simple formula to find this radius. R equals the square root of 3 over 3 times A, where R is the circumradius and A is the side of equilateral triangle. So now let's put our values into this formula. We get the square root of 3 over 3 times A, which is 30 centimeters. And 30 centimeters is 0 0.3 meters. And we get the square root of 3 over 10, or approximately 0 0.173 meters. And that's the distance to the center of mass. Now, as far as we know, the location of the center of mass and the axis, we can find the moment of inertia. The formula is I equals the sum of mi times ri squared, where mi is the mass of ith particle and ri is a perpendicular from the ith particle to the axis. In our case, we can simplify this formula because all the masses and distances are the same. So we have three particles, therefore we get 3 times m times r squared. And now we just need to put our numbers into the formula. So we have 3 times mass, which is 10 grams. In kilos, this is 0 0.01 times radius squared which is the square root of 3 over 10 squared. So here we get 3 times 3, so 9 in the numerator. And in the denominator we get 110,000. So the answer is 9 times 10 raised to the negative fourth power kilos times meter squared. That's our moment of inertia, guys.